Welcome. My name is Lindsay Major. I'm the head of customer experience here at the MLC. Um, this webinar is specifically to cover the claiming tool. This is a tool in our portal that allows members to easily register their shares to works that already exist in the database. Um, so if they works aren't registered already, then you need to register those. We have a different webinar to talk about that. Um, but yeah, that will be the content that we cover today, specifically around the claiming tool. Um, before we jump into the content, a couple of housekeeping items. This is a Zoom webinar. Um, it's a little bit different than a Zoom meeting. If you see at the bottom, we've got a chat and a Q&A. If you make sure to put all of your questions in the Q&A box, that ensures that I see your questions and can answer them. So we reserve the chat for helpful links and, and resources and things as we go along. Um, but put your questions in the Q&A. I will answer all questions at the end. Uh, but if you put them in the Q&A, that ensures that I see them. If you put it in the chat, I, I may not see your question. So now that that is done, we're going to hop in. Um, I have a couple of slides, um, and then I'll go ahead and demo the portal, and then we'll we'll hop into your questions. So again, claim your song, claim your songs, claim your cash. <clears throat> Excuse me, my slide. There we go. <laughs> so the claiming tool. A couple of highlights on how to use this. Um, you can find this in your member profile under works registration, because when you're claiming shares to works that already exist in the database, you're, you're registering your share to that work. That's why it falls into the work registration module. Um, it's the first thing at the top, because when you come into the portal and you're getting, let's say you're a new member, or perhaps you just maybe released um, some songs, the first thing you should do is use the claiming tool to see are there things that are already in our database that you need to claim your share to? Um, so that's why we push you to the claiming tool first. It's super easy to use. I'm going to demo it in a second, but it allows you to search what's already available and easily claim your, your share to those works. Um, so again, we've got several tools within the portal. Uh, there's so we will cover those tools in later webinars. The next um, webinar is on March 9th. That's where we're going to talk about how you register your works. Um, let's say you have new works. They don't exist in the database. We'll talk about how to register those works. And then on at the end of March, March 23rd, we'll talk about how to use our matching tool. Um, and again, when you join, when you guys joined, we showed all of our social media channels, but definitely check out our YouTube channel. This is an amazing resource. It has all sorts of videos from explainer videos that are very short and easy to say, this is what the MLC is, to more in-depth demos of the tools and things like that. So definitely subscribe to that YouTube channel, um, especially if you're working your way through the portal and you maybe get stuck. Um, visit our website. We've got lots of resources on our website. It's chock full of information. Anything you could possibly need to know is on our website. Um, and then lastly, if you are working through these things, you've used the YouTube channel, used our website, you're still kind of like, what's going on? We have a super helpful support team. They're available Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Central Time. You can call us, chat us, um, email us by filling out our contact us form. We're able and willing to help you. So, with that, I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing my screen and pull up the portal. One thing to know, I am going to, I'm about to share my screen again and show you the portal. Um, so this is a test version of the portal. It's QA. So the data you see here is not real production data. Just so I'm not showing you anything you shouldn't see. Just want to put that disclaimer out there. Okay, so the claiming tool. So when you log into the portal and you've got your member, you could have multiple members, but this is your home screen. To get to the claiming tool, you'll click on view member. And then as you see on the left-hand side, you'll find the work registration module. It's the first one. So click on the claiming tool. Now, the claiming tool, there's a few ways depending on um, what you're trying to accomplish here. There's a few ways you can use it. Um, so again, when you're in the claiming tool, you are searching for works that are already registered in our database. Um, and you're seeing if, you're, if, you, if your publisher share is on those works. You can search by up to five criteria. There's several things um, 
you can get very specific if you know all that data, um, but you can search, as you can see, by work title, ISWC, song code, publisher, kind of whatever you need to do. Um, if this is your first time in the claiming tool and you're just sort of getting acclimated, I would recommend kind of casting a wide net just to see what's in our database already. And um, so it's, you know, common that someone may search by a writer name. So whether you're a publisher or you're a self-administered songwriter, you can search by your writer name and you'll get a lot of all the results relevant to your search of that writer name. Um, and then you can easily see right here, this, I have zero, my publisher has 0% claim on this work. Um, the work is 80% total claim. That means 20% isn't claimed. That could potentially be something that I need to claim. So it's super easy to see um, if, so that again, that's, that's one way if you're like, I don't know, I just need to kind of see what's out there. You can just cast a wide net and it doesn't have to be the writer name. That's an example. You can search publisher name. You can search any of these things. Um, some of them are a little bit more broad than others. Um, so lots of ways to use a claiming tool. It just kind of depends on, on what you're doing. But typically, yeah, we recommend cast a wide net, see what's out there. Um, now, let's say you know that there is a work that is already registered in our database and you just need to add your publisher share to it. Um, you can get a little bit more specific there. So let's say I know that this song with this writer, let's say I know the song and the writer's last name. I can get a bit more specific and say, okay, so I know that this song right here is the song that I need to claim a share to. Um, it's super easy to do that. If you if you can know that you need to claim the share, you know this is a song. Let's say you're a little unclear, you can go ahead and um, click view and the view gives you all of the work details. So you can kind of make sure, okay, yep, this is the right song. I need to claim my share. Um, also, if you notice that maybe you need to update some information, this may be the way you want to go, because if you also need to make other edits, you can click edit and make whatever edits you need to, to make in addition to claiming your share. Um, if you don't need to make any edits and you just need to claim your share, you can just hit claim, add your publisher. Uh, we will auto-populate the publishers that are typically in your member. So some of you may just have the one and that's fine. Some of you may have multiple. It just depends on your setup. But I need to add ABCO as my publisher. Um, I'll hit next. This is where I will add my publisher share. Let's say I have 30% of this song that I need to claim. Next. I can link any writers that are already registered on the work if, if that's applicable. And then I can check and make sure that my publisher share is in fact correct. Hit claim. And it will show in your registration history as, an, as a new work registration because basically what you did was you updated that work registration. Um, once that registration is processed and is accepted into our database, you will see it in your completed tab and it will show up with a status of superseded, which basically means you updated the original uh, work registration. So that's it. That's the claiming tool. It, like I said, it's super straightforward and easy to use. It's the first thing you should do when you um, are, are looking to register work, you should first search in the claiming tool to see if that work already exists. Um, and then you can easily claim your publisher share to that work. And if you need to make more edits, you can do that as well right there. Um, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen and we are going to hop right into the Q&A. Okay, um, so the first question here, um, sometimes in the claiming tool, the same work appears more than once. Should we claim all of them even though it is the same work? It may or may not be the same work. So you should only claim your publisher share to the works that you know 100% are correct. It's possible that there are duplicates in the system. So if you've noticed that there are like 
because you can have the same title and they can be different works. Um, so if you are 100% sure that, hey, these two works are the same, because sometimes that happens, people, um, you know, you may have four writers on a work, all of them registered the work new, not knowing that somebody had already done it. That happens. Um, if you if you notice that those are in fact the same work, then you should reach out to support so we can clean up the duplicates. Because um, we want to, and basically what would happen is we would merge the duplicates and then you can claim your share to it. Um, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't, so if you notice the duplicate situation, that is in fact what's happening, um, reach out to support, don't claim your share to all of them. We'll need to merge those works and add your share to it. Um, but it is possible that there are multiple works with the same title. So you got to be sure that that's what's going on. Hopefully that answered your question. Um, next one from Samuel. If I own 100% of my publishing, would I claim 100% on the MLC? This is a good question. Um, on PROs, you have to split it between the writer share and the pub publisher share 50-50. Is it the same? It's not the same. So um, for because we're in mechanicals, there's only the publisher share. So if you are if you own 100% of your publishing, which sounds like you do, you would claim 100% at the MLC as the publisher. You definitely register your work, your writer name, um, but you're only registering the publisher share. So if you're used to registering 50-50, it would be 100% here. Um, that is a very common questions. Thank you for asking that. Okay, from Claude, we've registered a lot of tracks two weeks ago and they appear on the status completed, but we can't see them on our catalog. Is that normal? Um, so again, we're, we're trying to focus on the, the, the claiming tool, but Claude, uh, we did, we, if you're, normally you would see them on your catalog, yes. Um, over the last week or so, we did have a couple of um, issues in the portal. So you can reach out to support or you can give it a, another day or two for them to show up in your catalog. Normally, if they show up as completed um, and they, they have the status accepted, they, they do need to have a status. So you typically in completed, you'll see accepted, rejected, superseded, whatever that status is. Normally, then, if it shows as accepted or superseded, it should show up in your catalog. Um, again, we did have a bit of a database issue that we're still working on, so it's possible that it's just a little bit delayed moving into the catalog, and that could be what's going on. So if they are showing up as a status of accepted, maybe give it to next week because our tech team is working on it. And if you're still not seeing it, then reach out to support, and we'll make sure that that's what, what's going on and everything's okay. Um, Uh, okay, so some of my songs don't have a publisher. The PRO lists publisher as manuscript. Uh, Lawrence, I'm not sure what the question is exactly. Um, and it's possible that you may need to reach out to our support team. But um, if your song, I, I'm not sure if you're talking about works that are registered in our portal. If you're registering works in our portal, you would have to have a publisher, which it could be you. Like if you are someone that owns your own, uh, if you're self-administering, then you would have a pu your own publishing. Um, but I'm not really sure based on this what the question is. So if you wanted to follow up, uh, feel free and I'll try to answer it. But I, I need a little bit more information on what, what you're talking about there. Okay. Um, Next one, how does the claiming tool differ from the matching tool? Yeah, so the claiming tool is our work registrations. So basically if your song, you're looking for songs that already exist in our database so that you can claim, easily claim any shares that you may not have claimed yet. Um, the matching tool is different because you're matching sound recording usages to works that are already registered in your catalog. So you need to register your works first, use the claiming tool, whether that be through the claiming tool, if they're new works that have not yet been registered, you'll need to register them. Um, and then once the works are in your catalog, you can use our matching tool. Uh, we do have an automated matching process. Anything, any sound recordings that don't get matched to a song that's registered lands in our matching tool. You can search that um, and basically suggest to the MLC that um, we match those sound recordings to the song that's registered in your catalog. Again, we do have a matching tool 
webinar coming up in March where I'll go into detail on that at that time. Um, in the meantime, we do have, and I think I just saw someone put it in the chat, we do have a tutorial video that you can use as well. But that's the difference. One is registering your works into our database in your catalog. The other one is matching sound recordings, which is being used at the DSPs, which is how you're generating money, matching those sound recordings to the works that are registered in your catalog. That's why it's important to go in the order that we suggest. <laughs> cool. Um, Jose, how do you upload your songs? Yeah, so the next webinar um, is going to be all about work registrations. So I will briefly answer the question, but um, definitely join us on March 9th, where I go into detail on that. You can use our individual work registration tool within the portal, or you can use our bulk registration tool in the portal. Kind of depends on how many songs you have to register and what your appetite is for spreadsheets versus something else. Um, but we will definitely be going into detail on work registrations on March 9th. Um, again, in the meantime, check out um, tutorial video on how to do that. You can also reach out to support. But yes, uh, if you log in under works registration, you'll see those tools in there too. Okay, next question. I am a songwriter and publisher. I purchased administrative services from TuneCore, I think. So TuneCore administers my publishing. Do I still need to claim royalties within the MLC? If, no, TuneCore should be doing that for you. So if you entered into that um, publishing administration agreement with TuneCore, they should be doing that work for you. That said, uh, you can use our public search and make sure that your, your data is registered correctly, their, the matches are made correctly. So you can still check your data in the public search, but TuneCore should be doing that work for you. Okay, that was all the questions. I'll give everyone, last call, <laughs> give everyone a few more seconds to pop anything in there. Um, great, cool. So thank you so much for joining. Uh, again, if you, if you think of questions later or you're using these tools and you, you hit a bump, definitely reach out to support um, or use our YouTube channel, use those tutorial videos, whatever flavor help you like. But uh, we will be back on March 9th to talk about registering works. Thanks for joining everyone.